this has been like one of the hardest videos I've ever had to make. And not for any reason you would suspect. I don't know. It's man. so hard. I don't exactly know why. If it's a combination of the side effects and from the fatigue of the cancer and the tightness of my jaw, the situation with my parents, friends who have lost because of this cruel disease that's taken the lives. Let me show you what I've been doing. I'm sorry. I'm really upset that I'm emotional and uh, I've been avoiding I've been avoiding this. Why? You wanna know where I've been? This is where I've been, almost. Almost 24 hours. Let me show you. Right here. In my bed. Like this. I'll sleep here and toss and turn. Feeling completely fatigued. For the majority of my day. Did I not know why? Am I depressed? Am I... Am I just... Is it the lack of energy that's just... And, uh, mentally, I know it's part of it because even talking to my friend yesterday or the day before, who I love, I didn't even want to talk, which is not normal for Matthew. Matthew loves to talk. And I love people, and I love to talk to people. So why am I telling my friend to don't call him back when I feel like talking? It was a beautiful day, though. I'm not sure, but I'm going to guess that if I'll actually do this first before I do anything else that I will feel better about myself for at least getting this done than I already feel like going back to bed. So I made myself promise that I would get out of the house and get this video out, at least this immediate update to encourage myself in the so good seeds. Let's go check the mail, huh? Feels. Uh, how lame is that? How lame is that that I could get on oh, here record myself crying? The idea is to capture the reality. That's why you picked up the camera, Matthew. You were already going through that. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Uh. This, this whole time, 
since I've been back in the U.S. from Mexico, it's just been like a blur. I got back. I, I was I was all excited and and you know was working on um, studio since I couldn't have my I couldn't afford the studio anymore for my job. Brought the studio in the house that I would do some of my art and start building up some work again and some clientele hopefully because we're in dire straits financially. Well, I did not. Uh, plan for all the, just the adverse effects of everything that I went through with the chemo and the proton therapy, which has meant that I, it's been a lot more difficult for me to do my work. And thus, the bills. And I've used, I've used care credit. I've used new credit cards with 0% APR. But if I've been able to get by, then I can't anymore. And I've been stuck because I guess since my ambition wasn't able to be matched by my practical abilities at this point, really has disappointed me. So I'm asking for your help. I got some updates for you too. Time to get my skin on, folks. Wish me luck. We gotta keep moving forward no matter what. Siemens, I want a good result from you now. Listen, I love you guys. Thank you for your support. I need it right now. I'm in a rough spot, bro. I'll tell you more later. And so yesterday I got my CT scan and I'm here at Dr. Perkins office today. And uh, we're going to take a look, even though we don't have the report, we can actually see the scans already in the system a day later. Uh, I just have to say that's a win for uh, health care in America versus like socialized medicine where you might wait for another month. <laughs> I don't know. So there's something there still. Most of it's dead. You can see that dark area? Mm-hmm. You can see what it looks like, yeah. That's the PET scan from September, and this is our CT scan from yesterday. So there is something there, okay. So what's the prognosis, doctor? What do you think from here? I think you're gonna end up having some surgery. Do you think I'm gonna need some surgery? Yeah. Um, but we're gonna figure that out by how? Well, we'll get the PET scan to see what to take out. If it doesn't light up on the PET scan, we leave it. If it lights up, we take it off. Got it. You heard it, folks. So I need to put on about 10 pounds, and then we're going to schedule the PET scan. Would it be more accurate if we waited a little bit longer is what I'm trying to say? We're going to do three weeks then. Okay, let's do that. So as promised, I got out of the house, and I'm finishing the video edit now. And uh, as you just saw, yeah, so I've got an update coming from the PET scan in a few weeks, which will show how much active cancer there is inside my tongue and stuff. And they're thinking there's a good chance I'm gonna have to have surgery for a number of reasons. That's not something I'm excited about, which I'll get into later. Of course, I'm gonna do whatever we have to do I feel completely knackered, I wanna go home, but I'm gonna finish this video. Listen guys, I have so much awesome stuff to share with you, and I'm really sorry that you haven't heard from me as much when you have uh, been so supportive and so, I just don't know what I would do without you, to be honest, and um, 
You can send me money at my PayPal. My PayPal.me link is in the description. I'll put it on the screen as well. Matthew Armstrong TX. Um, as well as uh, the GoFundMe. No matter how much I don't want to ask. I hate asking for money. I love making money. I want to make money. I don't want to be given money. But I'm in a place right now that if I don't, I'm going to be on the street. <laughs> That's just the bottom line. So, <laughs> please help. I'm sorry to ask. Um, thank you so much for your support and your words of encouragement. And I want to remind you of how valuable your life really is. You've been given the most amazing gifts called consciousness. Don't take it for granted, friends. I love you. Bye-bye.